Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the Wonder Wart, a unit from the Advance of Zeta, Flag of the Titans. This unit was developed by the Titans test team, or I believe the Titans, as an advancement on their Gundam type units. The main idea of this unit is that it can have a various number of different attachments to make it capable in any environment. In game, I only have the level 2 version. It is a 500 cost, ground and space capable support, with a ballistic resistance of, of 0. Dang! A beam resistance of 27, a melee resistance of 21. The plus 1 on the beam resistance is the enhancement. A ranged and melee strength of 30, a movement speed of a very nice 130, and a thrust gauge of a 70. For parts, we have close range of 14, medium of 12, and long range of 10. This unit's pretty much good all around. For armaments, we have only one option for the main weapon, the boosted rifle. It's a heat-based, focus-capable weapon that fires a single beam out, and is not too bad. It charges quickly, focuses quickly, and does a pretty good job and with decent range. Then we got blow, a melee attack. We have head mounted Vulcans that are acceptable. And then we have two of the main features of this unit. The boosted heat blade, a large heat saber effectively, and the boosted claw, which fires out like the guff's um, heat wire. It will cause a massive stagger. I would suggest if you're using this unit to open with the boosted claw, then switch over to the heated blade and use a down strike on the target. Then of course switch to your your rifle and then shoot them while they're on the ground. It's very nice. For skills, we have high performance radar level two, high performance scope level two, observational data link level one scouting parallel processing device level one high performance aerospace gimbal level two of course it's a transformable suit so it has transform it has the cs booster eye filled the anti-blast stabilizer high performance balancers which is fantastic high spec ambac level two and of course the prize of all Forced Injectors Level 2. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. This suit is simply fantastic. It can do damage at range. It can mix it up to a limited degree. And it can be one of the most annoying follow-up suits that I can even imagine. It can keep up largely with its team. And it's just a terror on the field. I have nothing negative to say about it so let's see how it does in the match to come hello and welcome to the match everybody the question here is will i ever say the wound wart correctly and not just repeatedly refer to it as the wonder wart and the answer is i'm going to continue referring to it as the wonder wart so this is a uh, interesting little suit. It's transformable. It's uh, got one beam weapon and head vulcans, but it does have a big old heat saber incorporated into its uh, mold. Mega beam launcher and that claw. The claw. We're gonna take a shot and take someone's shield down there, and we're gonna keep moving because this unit's fairly quick on its feet. So we're gonna circle around on the side here because I wanted to get some side shots you know the best shots in tanks I undershot he jumped in the water because he said no I don't want the claw and uh, I moved on with life I accepted this and I looked for another victim so I'm going to come up to uh, back up my guys fire miss switch over get the claw off finally Go a little too early to get that Gelgug, but we did help bring him down. And we're going to take a shot and miss again. We're getting a little bit used to the unit. And we're just going to uh, back off because, unfortunately, there's a lot of people all charging us at the same time as our team fights one guy. Unsuccessful. Well, they finally were successful. Now they'll fight other guys. Not being sarcastic. 
But uh, we're going to move up to help our guys get a shot in there. A little bit of that sweet vengeance and a punch. I forgot it has a punch, which is... Well, it's a punch, so there you go. A punch from a support, so... Mm -hmm. So we got the claw out again. And we're looking for an opportunity as we you know, ice skate around. Pop a shot into... Uh, is that the Ro no it's not the Roswell G again. I forget the name of that. Fire our claw, take a shield, and we're just gonna keep trying to be the follow-up guy. And we're gonna get a nice little sweep in there with the saber and take that guy off out while he's on the ground. Charge up our thing, shoot, get a nice decent amount of damage on that guy. We're gonna switch over, preemptively fire our shots off because we were so excited to transform. Come in, get a little bit of extra damage smack into him and drop off here and yes this unit is larger than it looks we're gonna use that heat saber again and take out that target we're a follow-up man after all and we're gonna ice skate our way over there to shooting nothing so we're going to the claw again we're gonna try to get into uh, position and fire into the back of this lovely gentleman catch him with the uh, heat saber I keep wanting to call it a beam saber fire our uh, thing into him fire again take a shield and there we go take him out a little bit of that one two punch now we're in a bit of a predicament um we got a couple guys on either side and we're low on health so it's gonna be a bit of a, a pain whoop and there's the uh, Gelgud. I'm trying to watch the back for my guys, but unfortunately when you're this low in health, you're going to get pushed. And with 57 health, I'm not going to be that useful. So we're going to try to come in, put a shot into that guy, fail, and then die. First death. So we're going to spawn in at A. Uh, we're going to go at D, but it didn't seem like a good idea. So we're going to try to uh, follow up number two. We see a guy low on health here we see a guy stranded so we're gonna come over fire take him out and do some damage on that roswell or is that a roswell whatever the one with the funny backpack and uh we're gonna square off with our friend here but we don't really want to do uh too much of that squaring with him so we're just gonna start trying to move let two do a little bit of his magic on him and we're come in aim fire miss you know what everyone loves to do. Come in again, we're gonna use our transformation, finish that guy off, get over here to relocate and drop down. Transformations are really good to relocate, by the way. All right, now fire, do a little bit of that damage. And we didn't quite get the claw into that guy fast enough. We missed our target there. Now, what we're trying to do is keep our guys between us and the other guys. We're gonna transform, fire some shots. We're gonna come over here and then drop back down behind the buildings. Well, we're gonna land on the building, but you get the gist. And we're gonna use a little bit of cover so that we can get a shot in. We see uh, a guy with a billboard on his back. And we're gonna come in and do our best to help out. Drop that crawl in, get the kill. Now we're going to push the uh, guy with the billboard. We're going to just use our head, our Vulcans, to uh, badger him a bit. Whip out a shot, fire that claw, catch him with it, come in, get him with the heat saber, get smacked by our guy, and he's dead. It was high fives, clearly. Tomahawk based high fives. So we're going to come around this way. We're going to try to split the difference on this guy. Fire, miss, sit here until his uh, thing stop trying to murder us. And uh, we're going to keep just using the cover where we can. He's going to get away from us, but we're going to try to switch over to deal with uh, this guy. Get shot in the back, you know, tradition. Catch him with the heat saber there, but he's not going to quite finish him off. I held back on the call because he didn't want to hit my own guy, but now I'm in a bit of a uh, pickle, you might say. So I'm going to turn, try to face these guys, and get murdered by tradition. Screw you, tradition. So death two. So we're going to spawn in at D. For the middle of the map. Clearly nothing inappropriate. And we're going to charge our beam 
<laughs> launcher. And uh, we're going to try to come in and help, but we're going to miss drastically. Wait, fire a claw, do nothing. Come in, get shot. You know, because they've given up on playing and now they're sitting in their, uh, their end zone. You know how it goes. So, I'm just looking for a bit of a uh, firing arc at this point in time in the match. We're just going to fire into there, and it's really just kind of uh, boring at this point. <laughs> uh, this is always kind of boring. A guy pushes out, two guys push out. We're going to miss with our claw because we're bad at the game. We're going to use cover. We see a couple of them splitting the difference over here, so we're going to slip over with number four and go stop doing that, and he's going to die. And as we get to the last two seconds, we'll come over here, wait, and it's over. So let's see what kind of impressive pose this thing has. Oh, yeah. They're really ramped up for that one. So one board position, and... And... Come on, flip over. Second place! Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye!